After weeks of uncertainty, the Ministry of Health and Wellness confirmed today what many suspected the Delta variant is in Belize. It's the most dominant of all the COVID-19 variants as its rate of transmission is almost twice of that of the original Wuhan strain of SARS-CoV-2. With the help of Baylor College, the ministry confirmed nine cases of the Delta variant. Those samples were sent weeks ago, so the possibility that the number is higher is not far-fetched given the speed that the Delta variant spreads. Experts say that the Delta variant is responsible for the third wave as the country continues to see significant increases of COVID-19 cases today. 79 cases were reported today. 41 of those cases are in the Belize district, most in Belize city. One death was reported, putting the COVID-19 death toll to 341. Close to 500 cases remain active and 5 patients are in intensive care unit. The Delta variant is not the only variant present in the country. Five persons were confirmed to have the Alpha variant and three persons have the Gamma variant. Those variants have been detected in the Corozal, Orange Rock, Belize and Cayo districts. They are variants of concern because they cause significant community transmission and multiple clusters. Love News spoke to Dr. Francis Moore of the Ministry of Health and Wellness. Um, having um, identified the Delta variant um, uh, in country with um, these samples um, does highlight the importance of us following key public health measures that have been consistently um, advised by the Ministry of Health um, and also um, getting our population for herd immunity, um, most of our population vaccinated. The concern is that obviously the um, my colleagues have been expressing the presence or suspicion that the, the Delta um, variant was in country a, a few a weeks ago. I believe somewhere in, in June um, when we started seeing the, the cases popping up and with the, the number of cases that were being were presented in, in households. Um, so that's um, part of, of the having identified from then that there was something unusual happening with the cases of, um, occurring in the news. Okay, but I'm saying that the nine cases confirmed for the Delta variant, that number would have increased since June, if that was the case. Well, the, the, uh, according to, and um, if you um, recall, the, the number of, of, of individuals started very low. And of course, um, the, uh, the number of cases of, of having um, identified nine cases um, would have been much more and, and, and weren't actually um, um, captured when with the, um, within our system because many of them of people still staying home, they're not being tested. Um, um, and also the amount of persons who began to get infected in days was, was remarkable. So that would be, have, have shown um, the unusual number of un higher rises in some districts. These variants are responsible for the significant increases in cases? Well, that's what um, the Ministry of Health has been advising ever since, and, and even the, the call from the key um, colleagues from the COVID response team. So it, 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 for us, it, it's not something um, that we say is unexpected. We did expect that the variant was in the country and was responsible, and maybe continue, uh, we continue to be responsible for the increase of cases if we do not abide by the key public health measures from the Ministry of Health. And, and get and also get vaccinated. The Ministry of Health and Wellness is urging the public to get vaccinated, adhere to physical distancing measures, wear face masks properly while in public and wash and sanitize hands often. Reporting for Love News, Hippolyta Novello.